In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use pSearch in memory and then iterate through all those values that we store in memory. Uh, this is a pretty simple example. We've got a particle draw creating this orange particle right there, and then a birth node surface black box that creates a bunch of particles on a, a plane that's hidden there. So it's all those blue particles. So we'll set up our first rule here where we'll call it look around. And in look around, we're going to have the orange particle at birth call the pSearch function and turn it on. That's going to control when it occurs. The particle who's doing the searching is the orange particle. We're going to search for blue particles. Let's get an idea of how far we should search. We we'll use our handy dandy line tool. So I look down there in the status bar, we see oh, about 120 maybe. And what we want to do then is we want to store in memory, and the particle who's going to do all the memorizing is the orange particle. We want to store in memory all the particles that we find. So call this found PIDs. And we want to store as many as possible. Uh, unfortunately, we're still limited only to a depth of 99. And depth is zero based, so this really means uh, zero to 99. So that's 100 values we can store. Drop that into our inputs. We'll go ahead and store the found PIDs. Okay, so orange particle at birth searches around for blue particles and stores all the ones that he finds in memory. Next rule we're going to make, this will be called, we'll call this iterate through memory. And same kind of thing, we're going to have the orange particle at birth. So we'll just copy that stuff, paste it. Orange particle at birth, we want you to call the iterator function. And what we want to do is iterate through your memory values. Now this gets a little bit complicated because we don't really know how many particles, how many found particles got stored in, in memory. Not unless we also store the found count because we need to tell the iterator how many times to count uh, so that we can iterate through the depth. So we need to actually store another variable here. We'll make an integer called found count. This, de this uh, variable can have a depth of zero because we only need to store one value in it. So found count gets connected there. And now what we'll do is we will go ahead and take memory. So the orange particle at birth it's going to take his found count as an output. It's going to send that to this iterator. So it knows, the iterator knows how many, what kind of count to go through, how many times to count. But iterator is only going to be called when this par orange particle is born. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to have, well, the um, this memory here, we need to look through the orange particle's stored memory values. And what we want to access is the found PIDs. But we want to look through all that depth. We want to look through however many it f was able to find and store, up to 100. So this number coming out of iterator is zero-based, which is pretty handy because it corresponds with the way memory works. Depth of zero is the top level, and it goes down to 99. So we're going to go ahead and just feed this number into the depth. And then what we'll do is we'll just use a simple position born and create a yellow particle uh, with one lifespan and no speed. And so the particle who's going to be responsible for creating those yellow particles is the orange particle. And it is going to create one at each of these found PID positions. Okay, so here we can see all of the, this is interesting, you see it did not create any uh, particles here. Um, this could be because it, um, you notice it also seems like it's, it's looking from the furthest uh, inward almost. That might have something to do with the way that uh, P-Search processes particles. It does not always search from the nearest um, outwards to the furthest.
which is pretty interesting. Um, there are some interesting checks you can do where you can actually um, compare these p-search values as you process them and we may get into a little bit of that. Okay, but so just so we're clear here, there's an orange particle at birth, p searches, it remember stores in memory all the particles it finds, it also stores how many how many it found. And then we use that found count to control iterator. An iterator then this number coming out here is starts at 0 and goes up to the found count and that's going to access the specific memory depth and show us and then we then this value is going to correspond to which depth value is there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Turn on the debug for those, make sure no other debugs on. And this is going to be a lot of information so we'll make this bigger. Okay. So what we get is we see the number coming out at 0 corresponds to a PAD of 20. Number 1 corresponds to 44, uh, 2, etc. So you can see these numbers are the iterator number values. And this is and then the found PID is showing you uh, the PID that was stored at that depth number. All the way down until we get to uh, it found 115 particles. Now this is interesting. Look at this. So we go 51, 75, 75, and then 75 gets listed multiple times. Mmm. That, oh no, what? Found PIDs. Well, now this is very interesting. Oh, I'm curious. Why did it stop and not find some of these other ones? That's a good question. You know, you never know when you're going to find a bug. And if you do, make sure you report it. Send an email and a very kind of clear sample scene to CBIS or support at CBIS.com. Um, and they are usually pretty good about logging it and making sure that it gets uh, corrected in the future. Okay, well, that's kind of too bad, but, you know, that's reality. Go ahead and close that up, turn off debug. But anyway, so this is just kind of the simple way that we store things in memory. Make sure you store the count so you know how many times to call your iterator. Uh, and then from there you can go ahead and do things with whatever um, stored value at that depth is and do whatever you need to. Okay, let's move on.